What's up guys, this is Ahya Isha and you are watching Ahya Property TV. Thank you so much for tuning in. You're in part 6 of this 12 part video series that I did specially to review the Malaysia's budget 2015 and how it impacts the property market in Malaysia, right? So we've just gone through strategy number one, very, very exciting stuff. Just two clauses, just two items alone got, can get you super duper excited about the property market moving forward. Now let's look into strategy number two, which is fiscal governance. And second strategy really talks about enhancing the fiscal governance. And you've got a lot of measures inside the fiscal government. And I want to highlight, of course, the most popular thing or um, not so popular thing right now is the GST. Now we're talking about items in the budget 2015 that has direct impact to the property market, right? And you can't talk about impact of the market if you don't talk in 2015 if you don't talk about the implementation of the GST. Now, this is specifically mentioned in item number 65 of the text of the budget 2015 for the federal government in, in Malaysia, right? So, during the announcement of GST in 2014 budget, it was actually announced in 2014, the government proposed not to impose GST on basic items. Uh, items and services based on the feedback received from all segments of society the government agrees to widen the scope of items that will not be subjected to GST as follows so we're not going to go into the specifics I'm not the right person I'm not the tax expert to talk about property uh, I mean GST but, but I, I do want to just highlight that yes it's going to be implemented on the 1st April that's the, our GST and you know what let's just have a quick look into that GST, GST, and just have that word Malaysia so that it just that Google knows exactly what we're trying to look for. And basically, um, GST is gonna uh, definitely impact the property market. So let's just try to look at news and maybe some. Let's just try to okay. Let's just keep keep it that way. Maybe past year and. You know, you could see some news pieces about the GST and maybe how how the GST would impact the property market, right? Impact on property market in Malaysia, right? So we could we could see that right there. Some of these items. Um, maybe I'll pick this one out, January 29th. Um, we could see our most amazing uh, Tan Sri Abdul Rahim from Rahmi & Co. So what does, what does he say? Goods and services tax is expected to be a mere blip on the property sector with a rise of not more than 3 to 4%. So that's what he, that's his views. Um, let's see what other people has to say about the GST. Maybe some, um, some notables. Uh, I did pick up some before this. Uh, impact on property market Malaysia but yeah maybe there was oh maybe that one was uh, just clear that out uh, but basically the reviews mentioned that there's gonna be you know three to four percent increase in the property prices and given all things remain equal remains the same with the GST um, uh, factor into uh, as a cost element into property prices, it will push property prices three to four percent. That's what some of the experts feel. I don't know. I'm. Uh, it's it's really a wait and see situation with the property market right now. It's just a couple of months away into the um, implementation on first um, April. So that's definitely going to be something that's going to impact the property market right there. So yeah, that's item uh, number number 65 that mentioned implementation of GST and that's going to impact the property market right there. Tune up to the next videos and we're going to talk about some of the other items that's going to impact the property market from analyzing the budget 2015. Thank you so much. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.